Hi everyone, how's it going? Uh, my name's Madison. If you've never been to my channel, welcome. I like to do mukbangs and cooking videos. So if that's something that interests you, please go ahead and subscribe. Uh, like the video as well, that's really helpful. And comment if you would like to say something. Um, today, I am kind of hungover, but mostly just like really tired because I didn't get that much sleep. Um, so yeah. I wanted to make lo mein because it is something that I really love and I've been trying to teach myself like how to make it. So I'm doing um, the closest that I can to the recipe that I got from um, her channel name is Souped Up. So I am doing like the closest that I can to hers. Um, I already had bought these noodles before I realized that they were supposed to be egg noodles. Um, so there's that. Okay, so let's go ahead and chop an onion. Um, it shouldn't look like this whenever you slice off the onion top. I need to sharpen my knife, so get a sharp knife. It's the most safe. So here I am just chopping the onion. And the reason that I wanted to show you guys um, the way that I do this is because usually you don't see this method used like when people are teaching. So that's why I wanted to go ahead. So right now I am just taking off the paper, like the little onion skin. And um, it was kind of hard on this onion, so it took me a little bit of extra time. So uh, this is a, a pretty small onion, so I'm just making one cut lengthwise to the root. And then making pretty thin slices here, as you can see. And I'm just going to do that for the entire onion. And um, I wanted to show you guys the proper way of holding the knife, which is what I did at the beginning. Um, but what I'm doing here isn't necessarily correct. You see that I, I just folded my fingers in. Um, I'm moving the knife instead of the item. A lot of the reason why I'm moving the knife instead of the item is because of the cutting board that I have, but I also, like, I'm cooking at home. I'm not cooking, like, in a professional area, so kind of like that. And then this is the way that the onion came out. Cut the onion however you feel is safe, please. And this is my first time doing voiceovers, so hopefully it's good. Um, here I am just grating some carrot. And this is like a hand grater. It's not like a microplane, although it's similar because of how you can like it, the portability of it. Getting carrot everywhere as per usual. That's what happens every time I use this. Okay, last piece of the voiceover. So here I have some tamari. It has a weird label on it because it probably came from Amazon. Um, with the tamari, that's just soy sauce. It's just a gluten-free soy sauce that I uh, really like. Um, and I'm doing one and a half tablespoons of that. And because this recipe calls for one and a half teaspoons of dark soy sauce, and I do not have that, I added another um, about one and a half, one to one and a half teaspoons of uh, soy sauce here in that way. It still has the right amount of salt. And here I am just adding the oyster sauce. This particular one is the Panda variety. Um, the same brand has a premium, which would yield a different flavor here. Um, this one is like deemed as like an oyster flavored sauce. And the other one is deemed as like an oyster sauce. Um, it's super similar, just it's a little bit deeper for the other one because there's more time and care in it. But they're exactly the same brand, which is the um, Ki Kum Lee. <laughs> um, but it'll be okay because I've actually made them already um, with this noodle. And it turned out okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Um, and these cook really fast, so... Um, I just have water boiling here. And these only cook in like five minutes, which is really nice. 
And then I also have some flank steak from before whenever I um, made some. In her recipe, she uses um, chuck and she like makes it like she like cooks it and I um, don't have that ability right now. So I'm gonna put a little bit of cooking wine in here because she had it in her recipe and I feel like it's it's kind of a crucial part of the like flavor in my opinion because like you can tell whenever something's been like with that. So I'm gonna leave that in there for a second and just kind of like let it hang out because <laughs> the flavor presence was there. So I was like, well, I definitely need it there. Um, I also have some shredded carrot and some chopped onion. And I'm just heating up this pan over here on like a medium high. Um, I'm gonna put some peanut oil in it. But yeah, if you're like, why does she sound like that? It really is, I'm just like super tired. So um, one of my friends came, like one of my longtime friends from here uh, came to, has come to visit for a little while. So um, I was like, well, the time is now. So went downtown, thankfully like, uh, it's there's not too much stuff going on down there. So it was pretty chill. Um, we went to like this like after hours thing. Uh, so I was like downtown till like four. I didn't really like drink that much. Like, so um, like by the time that I ended up leaving, like I was pretty much like sober anyways. So I ended up going through a McDonald's drive through That took like a long time, even though I was just getting a McChicken. Um, but it was like the middle of the night. It was like, it was like, you know, it's like so late where they're like, um, we're just taking cash. Is that fine? I'm like, yeah, it's fine. I got cash on me. I'm telling you, you never know when you're going to need a couple bucks in cash. So I just added like half a tablespoon or so of the oil. And then um, I just have like a little like soy sauce and um, oyster sauce mixture here. And now that this oil's hot, I'm gonna go ahead and put this beef in here. I just pretty much needed to like heat up. I had it in the freezer. Um, I pretty much just needed to like heat back up so that I can eat it. But yeah, so um, just a disclaimer, I'm not claiming that this is authentic or anything like that. I am just hungry. I want some lo mein. I don't want to buy lo mein. I want to try different ways of like kind of making stuff. So just showing you like what I'm doing and kind of like a, my main purpose of this is that like you don't have to do stuff like so perfectly, you know, like you can try different stuff. So that's like my, my main thing here. Okay, so the beef is heating up, which is great. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put in the onion. And this was a whole like small onion. I'm just gonna use half. And I don't have pretty much, like I have like no vegetables like <laughs> to put in here. So that's why I have the carrot. It's not really, um, something that's usually in lo mein. And if, worried, if you're worried about me touching my hair, worry about something else <laughs> because it's just me, just me eating this. And I'm just gonna turn the heat up a little bit more. Um, I also have a little bit of uh, toasted sesame oil here that I'm gonna add like at the very very end There was another recipe that I was um, Following before so I made this one other time and it was from this other dude I'll leave his thing down below as well um, Because I don't remember his name, but he was like on the food network or something. I got like weird vibes from him I didn't really like him um, but I tried his, it had like a little bit more like sauce than I wanted. Um, and like the flavor was a little bit different. I think it's, I think a majority of it is because of the, um, the oyster sauce I'm using is an oyster flavored sauce instead of, um, like an oyster sauce, like made from oysters. So that could definitely be a reason. 
so I'm not hating on it too much. But I wanted to try hers because she has awesome recipes if you've never been to her channel. So I just went ahead and added the carrot because the beef is hot and the um, onions are like pretty cooked down. And then I'm just going to add most of this. And I didn't have any dark soy sauce, which is why I just added like regular. So I'm just going to put most of this in here because I really don't want it to be too saucy. I like my lo mein to be like less, less is more saucy. And these are done, so I'm going to add these. These noodles are just slight, slightly overcooked, but that's okay. I'm gonna turn the heat off, but I'm gonna leave the pan on the heat. But yeah, so like I said, it's not exactly the same, but it's like very similar. And I'm trying to make sure that I like use up these ingredients that I have, um, like noodle wise. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest. The other thing that I felt like was really important about that other recipe that I tried was the fact that, so he said to boil the noodles in beef stock and then it also had like chicken broth with it as well. Like for the, for the sauce part, it had like chicken broth. And so it just came out like a little bit too salty with like everything. So I would, um, like just whenever you're following like the recipes just make sure that you're like careful about like using like low sodium stuff um for like the chicken broth or chicken stock if you use one like his um because it definitely made a huge difference so let's go ahead and take a look at this guy it's definitely looking good and like i said these aren't the right noodles so it is not exactly the same but like I said, just trying to eat some food. I'm like super hungry. So this is what it looks like. Let me see if I can get you guys like a better angle. So it looks like I almost touched the pan. Um, so let me plate some up and we will try it together. <sighs> okay, so here it is. I put a little bit of the um, sesame oil in here, like a slight. I put like a half um, a teaspoon or so. And if I had green onions, I'd put them in here, but I do not have any. Okay, so I have it. Um, I'm definitely excited to try this out. Um, it's not gonna be perfect, but that is okay. Cause what matters is like the flavors, you know? So here's a piece of beef. Mm. The cooking wine definitely helped with that. Because I had different flavors on it. I cooked it like completely differently, you know? Mm. So let's try these noodles. Way less salty. Really good. Oh my gosh. That's so much better. <laughs> the other one that I made, it was so salty. It was so sad. Like, Brandon still ate it, like I ate it, but I didn't feel like, you know, good about eating it because it was just so salty. Mm. There's like the perfect amount of sauce in here. The, um, an egg noodle, I see how that would like change the texture for sure. So I'm definitely gonna get those when I go to H Mart again. But this is like super good. I'm having trouble with these chopsticks today. Mm. 
Mm. Anyway. This is really good. I'm gonna go lay in my bed and eat this. Well, I'll sit up and eat it and then I'll lay down because I'm going back to bed. <laughs> I didn't even get to say. So I uh, like came here around like four. I got here around like 4.30 um, after waiting in the McDonald's drive-thru for like a million years. Um, like got myself situated, found Brandon sitting up in the bed asleep with the lamp on in the living room and the lamp on in the bedroom. So he must have been like trying to wait for me or something. He didn't want to come because he had to wake up at six today. Anyway, um, so I went to bed around like five and woke up at like six when his alarm went off and then like 9.30, my brain was like, you're awake now. And I was like, I don't want to. And it was like, no. So yeah, so I'm gonna try again. <laughs> Anyways, um, if you stay this long, I really appreciate it. Um, if you make this, please let me know. If it looks good to you, please let me know. Just comment and like the video. That'd be great. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much. I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are. Bye.